Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got blue jack-o'-lanterns. I've started off with Neltique's Formula 2 as my base and here is A England and this is Whispering Waves. It's a beautiful blue hollow and it has an impeccable formula. These polishes have never let me down. They are smooth as butter. I love them. I don't own a ton of them but the ones I have are probably some of my favorites. Look at that. I didn't even make a mess. <laughs> so I'm going to do one coat of that and I'm going to top it with some posh top coat and let it dry down. Now if I was wearing this on its own I would just go ahead and do two coats of it but I'm doing something else today so we're just going to go with the one coat. But like I said we're going to get this to dry down and then we're going to get to playing in just a minute. Gorgeous. Alright, so I've got some um, vinyls and I do believe these are from Twinkle Tea. And I'm putting a big fat stripe down the center of my nail and then I'm doing two skinny stripes on either side of that. Because I want to give my pumpkins just a little bit of dimension. It's not going to be highly noticeable but it's going to be just enough and I always have so much trouble with placing vinyls. That's why I don't use them often. And you're definitely going to want to smush them down really well when you use them. Today I'm going to be using Moonshine's Manny. And this is Diana Prince. And it was from her Wonder Woman collection. And I'm going to go over where I've laid the vinyls down. And this is just going to make my pumpkins or my jack-o'-lanterns look like they've got their stripes. You know how they're just a little bit different. Like I said, this is not going to be highly noticeable, but it's going to be just enough, I think. You always want to remove vinyls just as quickly as you can. And I'm having trouble getting mine to stick to the paper towel. <laughs> and I know on camera you can't hardly see the differences between these two colors, but it's there. Just very, very faint. And I'm going to top this again with some posh top coat to get it to dry down before I do some stamping. Layers upon layers. This is a layered deal here. So there we go. I'm going to be using this Bundle Monster plate and it's H06 and the Bundle Monster black stamping polish called Straight Up Black. I'll be using my MoU scraper and my monocle stamper. I'm using a thicker scraper because this has a lot of open image and I just find that I have better luck getting the image, you know, without wiping all of the polish off with a fatter scraper. And my nails are a little long for this design so I'm going to clean this plate off and I'm going to pull some more of that bottom part of the image and just kind of line it up and slap it on the nail. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with my tape some of that extra off that I do not want. And now for the tricky part, we're going to try to line this up. Pretty good. Maybe not perfect, but pretty good. We'll deal with it. So I'm going to be using BMS204 for the other nails, and these are just jack-o'-lantern faces. All sorts of different little jack-o'-lantern faces. One of my favorite plates. And I'm going to use this little image on my pinky. Once again, got to break out a little piece of tape and plop that on there. Cute, cute. I love the little faces. Now I'm trying to figure out which other face I want to use. And I'm sorry I'm off camera, but you will see it here in just a second. I love, love, love all these little images. Ta-da! And one more. Let's see which one. Okay, we're going to get that one. Just plopping along. Here we go. Ta-da! So I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with some scotch tape. Or masking tape. I'm sorry. Losing my mind again. Um... Don't want to have to do a whole lot of cleanup with the acetone and smear this black all around my fingers. 
and I'm going to float this posh top coat over the top of my designs and seal them in. I hope you can see the little stripes on my, on my jack-o'-lanterns. I keep wanting to call them pumpkins, but they're, they're jack-o'-lanterns after you put faces on them. Capping my ends. And there we go. So here's my final manicure. I'd love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment. Here's my swatch photo. I thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.